guys welcome back i'm so excited right now because we are about to discuss all of the vera bradley disney um the little mermaid collaboration you guys this is so freaking cute i can't even begin to describe how excited i am and i really think vera bradley knocked it out of the park with this collaboration and their pattern. So this is going to be the first of two videos. I do have a second haul coming in with larger items. So this video is going to con be concentrated on my smaller um, items, um, of the largest one being this backpack here. Um, but I want to start with what I have inside the bag first. So let's just kind of dive in. <laughs> so um, the first thing that I want to go over is this adorable little aerial charm. I thought the thought and like the way this was designed was so cute. You have aerial here. Let me remove this from the backpack. Um, just give me a second. This is taking forever. I would take a long time doing this. And I think I did it. Oh no, I think I did it okay. Okay. So, here is the charm. You have Ariel and you also get Flounder. Let me get it up close so you could see how cute this is. Ariel and Flounder both have this little tassel hanging off of them um, and they have a little pearl. So I thought that was a really nice like touch, like a touch of jewels on there. I thought that was really cute. Um, and the quality is really amazing. Her face looks super cute, not distorted. Flounder also, this illustration is very, very clear. And I thought it was very well done. You do also have a clasp. This is a clasp here that you can use to hook onto any of your bags or to hook onto really anything that you would like to hook it onto. Um, this also, let me show you guys the shape. I don't know. The shape is also that of a little shell. Let me hold it lower so you can get the full look. So I thought that was a really cute um, detail design. Um, a little clamshell. So this is the first item. I was really excited about it. The second item are these awesome crew socks. You guys know I love the Vera Bradley crew socks. Um, I own so many of them, but this is my first Disney like princess one. Um, these are the crew socks in the pattern Ariel Floral. These retail for $15. And I still have them on the, on the little tag. I haven't taken them off, but you do get flounder. Let me see if I can kind of open one up while still on the tag so we can see the design. So you get flounder on there and then you also do get Ariel but she's up here. So that would look really cute. I love these because I'm a nurse and I love wearing like long scrubs. Um, not long scrubs, long socks with my scrubs. I just think they're really fun and they're really cute. You also get a little sea turtle, a bunch of floral um, elements and um, the little shrimp. I think they're the ones who, that play the trumpet um, in the little band. So, super cute. Um, the other item I got, I picked up two zip IDs. So, these are the two that I picked up. I wanted to talk about this one first. So, this is more like of a... The zip ID has... It's like a fancier zip ID. It has like an embroidered patch on it. You do get Ariel with some bubbles, a little shell, a flower... Um, another flower over here at this end and it is really pretty the color of the zip ID is really vibrant it's like a turquoise color um, I do feel like her face is a little too small maybe um, for this patch um, so if you look at it closely you can see how you know it's not really clear like her eyes and and her lips um, it does bother me a little bit but not enough to where I'm going to return it I'm going to go ahead and keep it um, I think it, it is still really cute and no one's going to be looking at this but me and you know it's just her silhouette. I think if they would have had like her silhouette on this I think that would have been even better. Um, it's still an adorable zip ID. This one retails for $25 and so 
I'm going to go ahead and keep her and I just think it'll be like a nice addition to my collection. And you do also get a ribbon pull tie. It says Disney, let's see, Disney on one side and then on the opposite side it says Vera Bradley, but I don't know why it's not focusing. It says Vera Bradley <laughs> and it is um, ribbed. Um, it also opens up very smoothly and this is what my pattern placement looks on the opposite side. We get that little blue lobster. I honestly don't remember who that is. The only lobster I remember is Sebastian and that doesn't look like him. Um, and so it's your standard um, configuration on the inside. You have your zip ID window compartment right there and then you do have the main compartment. And you also get the Disney zip ID, the Disney tag on the inside. So this is this first piece. Let's see, I'm trying to like move this around. I'll move that around later. So this is my second zip ID. Look at that placement. I just thought it was so cute. It is super, super adorable. I get a full flounder right smack in the middle. Um, the zipper is the same as the other one. You get Disney and Vera Bradley on one and the other side and it is ribbed. This key ring is not like a shell like the way this one is. This one is a shell key ring and it does have a clasp opening. I think I forgot to mention that. You can see that there. This is just your standard key ring um, detail. Um, and this is what my pattern placement looks like in the front. Get closer. There we go. And also the standard configuration on the inside, you get the, um, the tag inside also. Show you all the pattern once more. All of these colors just stand out so beautifully together. The yellow and the red and the purple and the greens and the turquoise. This is such a fun pattern. Such a fun pattern. I absolutely love it. Um, another accessory I picked up was this little treasure chest. How cute is this? Um, this treasure chest was delivered with, um, like the stuffing inside so it could keep its shape. Right now it's a little, you know, I took the stuffing out. It's a little, it looks a little wonky, but I'm sure that'll, I mean, it doesn't bother me. I think that's just the way it came, like with the, with, like during transit and whatnot, but it'll get fixed with time. Um, you do have an embroidered flounder with some purple hearts. I'm just trying to get this to focus for you all. So y'all can see it clearly. There we go. Flounder with some purple hearts. And the most like beautiful thing I feel about this little treasure chest piece is the stitching. You can see here this perfect clamshell um, stitching and I thought that was genius. Here in the bottom corner you also get different um, shells with another little flower. You do also have a zipper pull tie, also say Vera Bradley and Disney on the opposite end. This is what the back looks like. So you can see that the shell stitching kind of is just all throughout. The zipper is also nice and smooth. And this is what it looks like open. It looks like a little treasure chest. Super adorable. And you get the tag up in there, in here. You can see it there. And it is lined with that jewelry protect, like the protective felt lining. I thought that was really smart, really genius. You can keep all your treasures in here. Um, I probably won't keep jewelry in here if I'm being quite honest, but I just thought it was a really nice touch because it's it's a treasure chest, you know, intended for all of your treasures and your valuables and whatnot. Um, and that lining is all throughout, all throughout this little chest. So size comparison, I do have um, a mini makeup case here. I want to kind of just put it next to the mini makeup case because I know this is kind of like not that it's a random piece, but it's a piece that Vera has never really released anything like, so. This is the mini makeup case, and this is the treasure chest. 
So here you can see how they compare in size. They're actually pretty similar, almost similar. Yeah, super cute. I absolutely love this thing. Very, very, I feel like this was like the funnest product, like the funnest item in their entire um, aerial floral collection. So lastly, we're gonna get into this little um, mini backpack. So this backpack is mini. Let me just zip, not zip it, but it doesn't have a zipper. It doesn't have a zipper. Um, let me just close this really quick so I can show you guys what it looks like fully closed. Okay, so this is the mini backpack and this is what it looks like. You do get two straps and these straps actually are adjustable. They have metal hardware. And it does fit nicely on me, <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm really petite, but I, these straps do, um, let me show you guys, do offer more length also. So I don't think, I, this really is a small backpack, like it's really tiny. I don't think it's intended for like little kids, I'm pretty sure it's intended for everyone, but see, look at how long this strap is. So, so yeah. Let me just go ahead and fix that strap length. So aside from the straps, which I thought were really nice, and in this placement in my straps, I got a bunch of little full Sebastians. So I thought that was really nice. I was excited about that. <laughs> and you also have a little top handle, super small one, um, just enough to you know get a couple fingers there and like pick up your bag. So this is the mini backpack. Let me just kind of get closer so y'all can see the pattern. There's a bunch of flounders and Sebastians, some florals, um, uh, other fish and other like under the sea friends and starfish. There's even the harp, like a little harp, um, which is really cute, really pretty. So now let's get into some other features that are on the outside of the bag. You have two slip pockets, one on each end. I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let's see if that fits in. So it does fit inside, but it does stick out quite a bit, as you can see there. Um, but you do have a pocket on each end. Um, then you have a magnetic closure, but this is not a zip closure. This is a drawstring closure. So let me just scooch back a little bit because I kind of got closer to the camera. So this is a drawstring closure and then it magnetizes. It's a magnet closure also. So drawstring and a magnetic flap. And the magnet also works really well what it looks like. Inside the organization is pretty standard um, except for two slip pockets you get one um, kind of like in your mini backpacks the performance tool version if you guys are familiar with that um, you get one little slip pocket um, and you get it on this end over here on the front end. There's the slip pocket there and then on the back end, you have a zip pocket that I've already unzipped. You can see it there. And that is where you will also find your, find your Disney tag. And this little zip pocket does reach um, all the way to the base of the bag. So this is my iPhone 12 Pro. I just kind of want to stick that in here so we can see. And that's what it looks like with my phone in the zip pocket. And then I'm going to stick my phone in the slip pocket so y'all can see that too. So there's my phone in the slip pocket. Let me grab a zip ID and stick it in the zip pocket. So you can see there the zip ID in the zip pocket does fit and you can zip it right up. As well as in the slip pocket it fits perfectly but this is a slip pocket so you won't be able to zip it up. And the interior of the bag is pretty spacious. You can see um, that it's pretty wide, easy to see all your things because of this nice wide opening, which I really appreciate because I hate guessing like as I'm digging, feeling for things in my bag. I like to be able to see what I'm searching for. So 
so that's really nice. So this is in the Ariel, I want to say, it's not Ariel Floral, it's Ariel Ditsy, I want to say. Ariel, actually no, it's called Life is the Bubbles. How cute. Life is the Bubbles. So that's the name of this pattern, Life is the Bubbles. Which is the interior of Ariel Floral, the main pattern. So um, that pretty much concludes everything, guys. I'm going to go ahead and just put everything back in here. I'm excited to move into this. I'm going to be moving into this pretty soon. Um, probably tomorrow, just because I don't really have time right now. But I am expecting another shipment with a Vera Tote, a small Vera Tote, and a campus backpack. So stay tuned for that. If you guys loved watching this, um, that should be coming in hopefully in a couple of days. So as soon as I get that in, I'll find time to record it and upload the video. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next one where I discuss um, my larger haul items. Bye!